Okay, so we officially started. You know, um, so welcome everyone. So um, for those who do not know me, my name is um, Henki Wijaya. So I'm, I'm with the Ilawara Prayer Breakfast and also together for the Ilawara. So yeah, we're really excited. Um, this is a collaboration uh, within the Together for the Ilawara and Fast 94.1. Um, so, so just wanna, I guess, and let the logistic, um, you know where the toilets are. No, just joking. Um, so, um, so this is again with this being recorded. And um, now, uh, if you have a background noise, um, try to mute. Um, and um, so, so then, um, so then people can uh, who are actually talking can uh, people other people can hear. But if you don't, then that's okay. Um, so now, so today, um, so I'm just gonna change my slide here. Yep. So um, we're going to open in prayer. So uh, so just want to go through the agenda quickly. Uh, so it's a welcoming. And then um, we're going to understand what the other churches in Illawarra are doing and what they have done. And we will go through some of the online technologies. Then we're going to open Q&A. Look, uh, we don't have all the answer. Uh, but the idea is we are giving it a go. Uh, and we want to learn from one another. So um, So that's the most important. Okay, so I, I want to I want to get um, uh, Daryl. Could you open in prayer? Could you pray for us. Thank you. Uh, the times are changing, and we're learning some new things. And Lord, I bless you and thank you for these incredible guys that come online. To we're all going to get our feet wet with some new stuff. As uh, Pat said, we're doing it together, which is pretty exciting. So bless you for Henke and uh, the other guys here that have got a real lot of answers. They're going to help a lot of churches to, to just do things differently. And Lord, I believe that um, this is a tool that will have uh, wider implications than what we've probably ever thought. That the churches will change, will be different. And, will be an opportunity for incredible outreach, the mission, the fellowship. But help us to use it wisely. And bless each one online here today and for those that will listen to it a little way down the track. Amen. 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 Thank you, Daryl. So I'm going to facilitate um today because i'm probably um you zoom a lot Liz, i need you to and um yeah so for those who just are joining in um you can um so if you have a background noise and then yeah uh, we suggest for you to mute so then allowing a person who speak uh, so that other people can hear um so now um so today why we are here today um so last week with all these changes happening, so I've been talking with a uh, uh, few ministers uh, here in, in, in Illawarra and also uh, a friend in uh, Newcastle as well. Uh, so I just get a sense that um, there's a lot of uh, needs and anxiety on how to navigate um, how the uh, you know, public gathering is going to look like. You know? um, there are some churches who know what they're doing. They're going online, etc. They have a technical people. But there are, uh, you know, plenty of churches who are not sure um, how to do that. So at the moment, they put their service on hold. Um, so what we're trying to do is we try to, I guess, expose uh, or explain what is other churches is doing. So then we can learn from one another what what is work for some people, what is work uh, for other not other people. Um, so yeah, that's the objective. Okay. So I, I have I've I've. I've mentioned about the about mute if you don't speak. So now the focus area is online gathering. So that is our focus area. There will be other conversations. So it's depending how how the things go. We may open up for uh, other things, but if we because um, we know time is limited, so we want to focus on online gathering. Now follow up will be available. So we will, uh, at the end of this, I will send you the form. So you, if you would like to chat further, we have a few technical people who are happy to volunteer their time um, to do a follow-up to help. So that's what we want, because we know we cannot cover everything in one and a half hours. And um, for the technical people who are joining and helping, um, let's not get too technical. 
because what we want to hear is to help uh, the minister and leader to navigate. Um, so limit uh, if in a, in in a three. So limit the abbreviation. So do not uh, if you if you have a two or three abbreviation in one sentence, that's already been too much. Okay. So so limit the abbreviation. Just make it simple. Uh, we are here to help the uh, the minister and leader to um, to support their, their their vision and mission. Are we cool with that? Okay. So this is the one benefit of the online meeting. So I I, I wear my pants by the way. So <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> So what, what, you're wearing you're wearing pants? I am. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Good to know. <laughs> okay, so that's the benefit of the online meeting. So um, I have to do that once only. So that just for information, because I was in a hurry. Now, um, I, I'm gonna play a video. I'm not sure whether this is how it's gonna looks like on the Zoom, but I'm gonna play it. See see how this actually can relate. So it, it, it's a bit breaking up, but you can see that is the struggle is real. People not to not know how to do it and everything. So if you see the um, the uh, the prime minister, um, I said, oh no, it's, it's one of the minister in UK um, last 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 year. Let's make a blunder as well. So yes. Um, we are all learning um, the struggle is real so we are here to try to you know help this um, that uh, conversation okay just want to have a few thoughts about technology so i'm a, I'm a technology guy I'm, I'm, I'm a i'm a pastor but i'm also a technology guy um so i've been keep saying when i'm helping a business this is what i keep saying to my staff and to my uh, to technical people so um particular for today technology is to support your church mission and vision everyone have a different dna and what do you want to achieve for your church so technology is to support you uh, and remember technology is only an enabler and it's not the answer and definitely not the answer for today you know a bit of cliche jesus is the answer um, so so this is all coming back the question will be coming back to its pastor and minister how would you like to see your church is uh, you know going in the time like this and then after you know about that then you find out what is technology that will be able to help you to achieve that so it is not one size fits all but it's really you have to come back to what do you feel god's calling in each of your ministry uh, in your church because there's a different way of how we're going to do that and just want to emphasize again that people is more important than the technology um, so technology is to help you to connect with people um, in the self-isolation in you know uh, is to connect with them but people is still more important so i guess what i'm trying to say in a bit of negative way uh, uh, so do not sacrifice the people because of technology so but just use technology that help the people to connect so um so that's a few thoughts that i want to i want to share before we jump in Okay, so we're gonna jump into straight, uh, straight away to what churches are doing. So we have uh, Nat uh, from the Mars Media and also um, you know Awaken Church and I understand he helped other churches as well. So Adrian uh, from City Life Church, um, and then myself. I'm gonna share uh, about um, you know what I'm doing. So I thought that this actually a handle a good spectrum of of a church size and congregation and and you know a style of worship then we can go through and learn together. and then after that we'll open up to the few of the technology people or if you like to share what you guys are doing um so now so in terms of what other churches are doing um so from nat um and the others so we uh, we want we would like them to to say in three things in the how and then the story behind that why you are doing that why your church is doing that and then what technology that you use we do not need the list of equipment um, but just mention a few big things then uh, we can send the list of technologies uh, you know uh, you know later on and then the more important everyone is learning at the moment this is a very important we are all in the journey we are learning i would like to um, hear from each one of you 
what is the lesson learned from last Sunday and how are we going to change it? So that will be a fantastic. So I just going to go through um, to Nat first. You want, you want to start Nat? Yeah. Do you, do you want me to share what I, what I put in the document, Henke? Is that, yep. All right. So like Henke said, technology needs to support the vision of the church and be easy to use for people. If the technology is hard for some people to use, or worse, if it fails or doesn't work properly, which, let's be honest, can often happen, we're even getting a bit of that here today, we, we're losing a, a word here and there of hankies, then the technology is not supporting the vision of the church or the people. So, for these reasons, uh, now, a bit, sorry, a bit more about myself, I, I'm a, a filmmaker, a producer, director, been working in um, primarily um, advertising and marketing for the last 20 years, but I have a passion for, for film and uh, I'm, my trade is a cameraman, but these days I'm a, more of a producer and director, but I run a production company based here in Wollongong. We do a lot of uh, work in Sydney, but um, this, this is what I do for a job. So um, for, these, for these reasons, and I, and I go to Awake in Church as well. So when, sort of everything, when everything started happening, um, we sat down with, with our fantastic team at Awake in Church and had a discussion. We decided to pre-record a weekly message. Um, that's just what we decided to go with. We can talk more about that um, today. But um, basically, we pre-record a message with Pastor Scott. Um, we've got the ability to, to you know, have other preachers or other pastors in the church share. We've talked about even doing some like Q&A or panel type type sort of videos. So the, the scope, as you guys will see, the scope with this is really... I'm really passionate and excited about this because um, it's what I do. But um, the, what the, the, the opportunities are, are endless. So um, we did our first one last week. It, we pre film it earlier in the week, it gets uploaded uh, to YouTube and Facebook, and then the team push it out across Instagram, um, Instagram, the church's website and the app. So our church has an app. So we're sort of pushing everything out that way. It's scheduled to go live at 10 a.m. on a Sunday. Um, this creates a sense of it, of it being live, but it also gets people sort of watching it at the same time. So um, that's really important because it kind of builds that community and, you know, you get that collective viewing, I guess. So um, we, we, we had that happen last Sunday. I've, I've put a link in that document there, Henke, so you can share that later. That's the first one. We shot the second one yesterday. My, my editor is actually, as we speak, he's editing it next door. So, <laughs> so it's, it's all happening. But um, they, our creative team also have um, curated some playlists on Spotify and YouTube. So, um, you know, they've got those there. People can um, log on and, and sort of praise and worship. And the idea was that we, we were running it as a home church. So on Sunday, we went to us and a few of other families went to a, a family from our church, went to their home, and we had a wonderful time. It was like a home church. And um, I'm, I'm really excited as well about this because it's sort of like we're getting back to that biblical, that Acts, the early church, you know, in, in the Bible. And uh, they were meeting in homes. Obviously, it was very different times and, and they were meeting in homes because they were persecuted. But um, it, it was a great it was a great time, and um, now with I think we've got sort of stricter um, things in place now. So essentially, people will be able to watch the video at home, in, you know, on their own or with their families and engage. Um, I think the pastors are the idea is they go on Facebook and YouTube at the time, and they're able to live comment with people as they're watching. Um, yeah, and that's basically what what we're doing. So. Um, the good thing about this approach is it's, it's easy for the end user. They just click on a link and they can either watch it on their, on their phone, on their computer, on their tablet, on their smart TV. Um, it's, it's really straightforward. Um, uh, it's interesting, Henke, we had a conversation yesterday. There, there are a few older people in our congregation and they don't have a smart TV. I think that's an oxymoron. Smart TV, just saying that. So they should be called, you know, dumb TVs. But anyway, because um, if you watch too, too much TV, it's not a good thing. But um, so we actually talked about, a few people asked about DVDs. So um, we still can make DVDs. So we're talking about maybe 
once we've got a few series, compiling them onto a DVD and someone taking that to, uh, to the person's house. So um, there's that option too. Obviously, it's got to be physically delivered, but that's something we can do as well. So um, I think that's sort of the approach we've taken. Technology, I mean, again, like Henke said, I don't need to get into the cameras we use. Pro, we're using professional cameras and, you know, mics and lighting and stuff. So I can, can supply more info on that if, if anyone's interested. But um, I guess the lessons learned, look, um, we, <laughs> it was amazing. We had, um, it, I really believe this is, uh, and am I going on too long, Henke, or? Just, t just tell me if I need to stop talking. So. No, no, you are, you are good, mate. Go, go for it. I, I, I really believe God's going to use it from Sunday. What, what lessons then, learned? Yeah. Maybe whether con maybe, have you considered to make a change of the approach to adjust or anything like that after Sunday? Yeah, we, I mean, we're constantly adjusting. I think we, we're just getting ideas and, and sort of growing the idea, really. So I think overall it worked quite well. I just wanted to share a couple of testimonies. So we, we, it's forced us to, to rethink the way we, we do church. So um, I believe if we, if we approach this, it, it, obviously it's a challenge, but if we can approach it creatively and work together, um, I believe these, 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 this, this whole thing could actually strengthen the church and it will advance God's kingdom. So Last Sunday, because our church has two campuses, last Sunday, a lady from the Canberra church, her husband watched the video. He's not saved because he won't go to church, but he'll sit at home on the couch and watch the video. And he, he prayed the salvation prayer <laughs> at the end of the video. So, <laughs> sorry, it's getting a bit emotional. <laughs> but it was beautiful. So he, he got saved because... He won't go to, He wouldn't go to the church, but he he watched the video with his wife. So, so that happened. That was wonderful. Um, Pastor Scott Hansy has a friend in Pakistan who, and I, I need to get more information about this. We just talked about it yesterday, but he's got a friend who runs a, I think it's a channel or or a, a Christian TV station in Pakistan, and he's he's been saying to Scott for years, Scott, you gotta. Scott, you've got to give me content for my channel. You know, I need, I want some Australian videos. So this guy saw the video on YouTube, ripped it and put it on his channel. So he's, he's already broadcast it through Pakistan. Um, and Scott, it just kind of happened. So, <laughs> so that, that was a total God thing. We didn't even, that wasn't even part of the plan. But um, I think Pastor Scott, uh, I can't speak for him because he's not here, but I think he's quite excited about this too. So, so I guess what I'm saying is, um, you know, this, I see this as, as an opportunity. So if we, if you, like I said, if we approach it creatively, um, God's going to take it. It's, it's a bit like the, the loaves and loaves and fishes, you know, God, the, the boy basically gave that to Jesus and he, he, he took it and made something, did something wonderful with it. So if I can just encourage everyone, um, yeah, I, I really see this as an opportunity. And I, if I can just encourage you to, to think outside the box, um, you know, I guess what we're talking about here is, is thinking outside the four walls of our church, you know, um, that's, we still have that, but if we think outside the box, God, God can use that and do great things. Thank, thanks, Nat. So, um, so I think perhaps I, I just quickly, um, I, I just, we, um, so I asked Nat to, um, send, um, I asked everyone to send the behind the scene. So then actually people can, can see what, what actually they're doing. So just to, to recap, they're pre-recording. You are pre-recording and then you, you're yeah. using a YouTube. Um, from a YouTube, then people can share it on the social media. So you are pre-recording the message. Um, so are you pre-recording the, um, the uh, person worship? Um, we haven't done that, but I've talked to the team. I think we should. So our, okay. our worship pastor has got like a playlist of, of songs. Okay. All right, so, so um, currently you are pre-recording the message only, yeah? It's just a message. It's about a 20 to 30 minute last. All right. Last week's one was 20 minutes. I'm a bit excited this and, week and it's and, 30 and then minutes. And we can That's just you encourage, uh, so do you actually have a watch party like um, you know, in, in the It's Houses, People's Houses, or how do you do that? that that's what we did last week. Yep. Basically, um, the leadership kind of 
I guess, um, segmented the church up. I mean, a lot of people are in life groups already. Yep. So basically people met with their life groups, but they basically had people meeting in, in homes all over, all over the Illawarra. So, so people in the connect group watching the same YouTube, do you actually have the same time and all those things or their own time, whatever it is? For, for it, it was, it was mostly happened at the same time. Okay. So the beauty, yeah, that's the beauty of this one is most people watched it at around 10, 10 30 AM. Right. Okay. But if people couldn't make that, they could watch it at a later time. Yeah. So, um, Scott, you know, Scott made the joke that probably there's probably some young people that will watch it. So, so, um, so as uh, for the other people, <laughs> thanks, Pat. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, so this is not the behind the scene of the awakened church, but this is some of the uh, what Nat is actually doing. So, as you can see, their um, their setup is quite complex and it's quite uh, uh, you know professional. Um, so they have a video and all those things. They have a lighting. So yeah, th th thanks, Nat. Um, oh, so, um, thanks. Uh, what I will do, we'll, we'll, we'll jump to um, Adrian um, and to explain what uh, City Life's been doing. Yes, hello. Can everyone hear me? Yes, you can hear Thumbs you. Thumbs up, I guess. Cool. Yeah, very good. Yeah, I love what Nat said. Great stuff. This is an opportunity for the church. It's not a setback. It's actually, you know, it helps us to think a bit differently. And I love those testimonies. How great is that? Um, for me, it's... God's building his church. It just looks a little differently at the moment and he'll always will be. Um, okay. So what do we do? I'm Adrian from City Life Church, one of the exec pastors there. And uh, last Sunday, well, for at least a year, uh, we've been live streaming our services on YouTube each morning. Um, a very basic setup, just a camera set up at the back of the building sort of taking in the stage and a couple of people in the front row. Um, so we were pretty easily able to just make a few adjustments to that and get it set up for Sunday, the, the last Sunday. Uh, we just brought the camera closer to the stage to make it a little more intimate. Now, we've still got a lot of lessons and adjustments and things to do to make it a bit more interesting and uh, lighting and so forth. but at least we had that set up and it was just something we could continue to use with, without changing what we already had um, in place so we've got a, a youtube channel uh obviously you need an account to do that and that was all set up i will say i am not the tech guy in our church so i cannot answer any tech questions or tell you how that happens i just know it happens so that's that but i do know we have that set up um, and what we did during the week, what I did was communicate as best as possible through all our social media networks and messenger groups that, uh, and graphics that I posted on social, just directing everybody to our website. So on our website, we had a page and a link. Um, we even updated the website uh, so that on the very front page on the top banner had a link to our um, YouTube channel. So we basically just wanted to get everyone to our website, which, cause the link was shorter. Um, it was a much easier, nicer looking link rather than a YouTube channel link, which was filled with text and extremely long and too complicated. So we just got everyone straight to our website. And then from the website, there was a link there that took everyone to our YouTube channel. Um, so that's how that's happened. Um, in terms of our, uh, um, what are we trying to achieve? We were thinking about, we're presenting to a lounge room, we're presenting to a household. So our thought was we want to connect with the family. We, we want what we present to connect not only with um, the parents, but also the children. So we started off with a, one of our kids action songs, um, which, and when I say action song, it has actions. Our, awesome music team has put together made up their own actions for this particular song that we have and it is basically the wiggles but with worship um, and it's really fun a lot of people get involved and so we had that we had our music team which was three people on um, last sunday and they did their did that song and then we just had one of our kids team um, up on stage doing the actions and so and from what we know kids were uh, jumping around and getting involved uh, as that was happening live in their lounge room, which was cool. Straight after that, 
um, so a straight off the kids song with the action song. Uh, we had a kids Bible story uh, and well, a Bible story read directed towards the children and the young people of our church and uh, a, a bit of an exclamation explanation and uh, just uh, an object lesson, I guess, if you call it. And also some activities for kids to do. So um, Pastor Ron's wife, Heather, she ran that. She wrote a story from the Bible. She had some, um, some colorful images that came up on the screen and she was just talking through that. Now she's a really great um, she's really great at connecting with children and was able to do that. So we just had that small segment there that connected with the kids. And that was right up front in our live stream of our message of our um, church service. And we wanted to just grab the kids first up because we figured they will probably lose interest later on and run around the house, do whatever afterwards. So we thought, let's just grab them first up, get them with the song, get them with the object lesson and a Bible story. And it worked great. We had some cool stories come up after the service about what kids had been doing and pictures and, and, and that was fun. So we got that up, up front, got that done and that worked really well. Straight after that, we had, well, I came up and did a bit of a news segment and just talked through what church is going to look like at the moment and the, the fact that it will probably look different and change as different regulations and recommendations come through from the government. We're even preparing that this Sunday could look completely different again, which is fun. Uh, but yeah, so a kid's song, then I just went through some news and updates with our church. And then we went into another worship song, uh, which was more directed at the, the, the parents or the, the, the older adult um, generation of our church. So that went well, I think. Um, that was all good, which then led into the teaching as normal. And then we followed up with, I would come up after Pastor Ron preached and had his message. We had live comments on our YouTube channel. So I was able to come up, jump up with him and just chat through some of the comments uh, that was happening throughout the service. We made it really clear at the beginning. We wanted to see comments. We wanted people to interact. We wanted to, to make it feel like we're all doing this together because we are. We didn't want it to feel like a, a TV show that you just sit down and watch, but something that everyone's interacting with. And so that was really fun as well. Um, we had our uh, people from Cambodia that we partner with in missions tuning in as well and commenting. So that was really fun. But there was, just, there was a really great sense of community in our Sunday experience that went online. So that was really cool. We were very intentional about that. Um, just a few logistical things that I've written down here. So we did all that from our church building, not from our home. Uh, we felt that under the current regulations, we could do that appropriately. And um, with all the social distancing, we could comply with all that and still do it in our church building. Uh, we just had one camera set up to do that. It would be nice to have more, but we keep it simple. We just use what we've got, what we've been doing. We just move the location of the camera um, during us for this that particular Sunday we in terms of the number of people we had in our building it was around 10 maybe maybe less so we just kept it very minimal we told people to stay at home unless you are needed uh, you are part of the stream or behind the scenes we had one extra um, which was anyway another story but we just kept it very minimal so three musicians uh, two people one on visual, one on uh, the sound for all our uploading. We had one speaker, one news presenter, one kids presenter. So just a, a hand, yeah, just less than 10 people to make that all happen. Um, in terms of lessons that we learned from last Sunday, some really practical ones like lighting. So immediately we knew we just had to move some of the lights that we had in the building to light up the presenters, the people speaking so that they weren't dark. Um, but that was just um, a pretty simple one. For the perspective, the location of the camera, we might want to change that. Also, just what is in view of the camera. So uh, what we presented last Sunday was very much what happens on stage normally on a Sunday. Now we're thinking about it doesn't need to look like that. Um, well, we're thinking very differently, actually. 
uh, after a conversation we had this morning, but we're, we're thinking through those types of things. Timing as well, some of the items went for a little long, perhaps, and we'd like to cut those down. And we had a little glitch at the beginning with commenting on YouTube. So we had a privacy setting, um, which had to do with uh, like a children's channel. I don't know, technical thing, but our tech guy, Josh, was able to sort that out on the fly and then that enabled commenting and it was all good from there. So that's basically what we did. I hope that came across clear. And but we had a lot of fun. We made sure uh, we were very positive about it we wanted people to engage and uh, just full of faith and full of excitement. And there was no sense of, oh, well, this is what we've got to do now. But it was very much, hey, this is what we get to do now. Let's look at this as an opportunity, what we can achieve. And we went, with it, went, went for it and we just got some great people in our church who just put their hands up and made it happen. So, yeah, thank you. Anything I haven't covered or... Any questions? Well, that, that, that excellent. Um, so, uh, so if you are logging using your um, laptop or iPad, um, you should be able to see the the slide that I that I put. Is is, is that correct? Yeah, you can uh, see it. Yeah. Okay. Good. So uh, I just put the behind the scenes there, so actually you can get a feel about it. Um, so um, yeah, no, that, that that that's actually really helpful. Now the uh, CD Life team has put like what are the software, what are they are using, and some tips mm. about everything. They have a very long list. So, um, you know, after this, you know, with their permission, if that's okay, we, we can share that. And actually, Josh did a great job. He put like every single item, how much it's going to cost. <laughs> so, 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 but uh, what, I wanna, what I wanna encourage the minister though, um, I always start with small. Start small and then when it try to find what is work, you know, make a small investment, what is work, what is doesn't work, and then make another investment. So we're not encouraging you to buy the whole thing. Um, so just just bit by bit. Yeah. Yeah. That's, sure. that, that's awesome. Th thanks, Adrian. No problems. Um, so uh, so now I'm gonna go through of um what, how I'm doing it. So um so we we our church is 20 people. Uh, most of them are families, so we initially want to um, want to go ahead with the community center. However, on Friday, you know, there's a four square meter, um, you know, the the limitation. So that's why we can't do it because the community hall is smaller. Um, and then there's a few pa uh, few parents as well not comfortable uh, with the non-Christian sports, um, uncomfortable to send the kids to school uh, to to um, I should say to church. So we decide. So I was in, in uh, consultation with um, Pastor Ron, or should I call Pastor Ron T? Um, and to basically, I, I call him and kind of you know uh, try to ask, hey, how you do it? And so so he gave me a feedback. Um, so actually, that's what we are doing. So this is the good thing about you know having communication. So then I can pick up phone call and then ask him, and then he give me advice on how to do this. That's amazing. So um, what we are doing, what we call is a, what we call is a house to house gathering. So we put the, the label like house to house gathering where each house contributes to the house of the Lord. So uh, because we don't have the manpower to do um, the video and all this thing. So what we decided to do, we just have a Zoom call. Um, but, um, you know, like what City Life, you know, and also Nat actually mentioned, what we want is really the sense of connection. So what we are asking people is each house is actually to contribute what they are doing. So one house, they lead a prayer, one house, they want a testimony. Um, and then next week, um, we're going to get one house to do the, um, you know, to do the children dance. So, um, so, but the idea is to get a connection, you know, what everyone is actually doing. So that's how it's going to look, that's actually how it looks like. So it's quite very basic with a laptop, with a webcam, and everyone is doing it. So what I emphasize to people um, on this is like this. Um, I do not want to get parents, uh, because this is a Zoom like this, I don't want to get parents to be, um, to be agitated and actually annoyed when the kids looking at their face um, in the screen. They will start making funny faces and all this thing. You know, I say like, calm down parents, you know, don't, don't, don't smack your kid, don't, don't, don't be upset. This is a journey. This is a journey. Let's do it together. So I said that the best thing you can do, parents, is that you focus. 
then your kids will focus. So they, then it will be passed, you know, when they, after they're making funny faces, they will be have enough of that and they will come down. So, so that's important. Now also lesson learned from us, we do found um, that we using Zoom, uh, we, we play music in one, uh, one house uh, because of the bandwidth, the other house is lagging. So um, we ask everyone to mute. Um, and so that's, that's the technical part. The second part is uh, we encourage each parent or, or each houses to be responsible for their own um, kind of atmosphere in their heart. Because in, when we gather together, the worship leader is the one leading and encouraging people to do that. But with online, it's harder. The good thing about that is actually each house is responsible for, they need to sing louder, they need to do all those things. So everyone become their own worship leader. So that's fantastic. So that's what we love about it. So we, 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 uh, we delegate the responsibility of the atmosphere in their own house. So that's what, um, what, what we, we learned. So we found it useful. Um, yeah, so yeah, we pretty much actually simple. Um, you know, we, we go with a very simple, uh, we just want to have a contribution, um, you know, with people coming together. So now, um, mm -hmm. before I open um, to, to other people who like to share their thought and what they're doing, because, you know, I, I'm sure there are a lot of other people. So Pat, do you, you want to share um, uh, a little bit what your church is doing? Yeah, thanks, Hanky. Uh, I love these three examples because I think uh, it's the it's a very uh, broad uh, broad uh, coverage of, of the different things that uh, different churches are, are doing around the, the community. And our church uh, last weekend we did have a service. Uh, we got people to RSVP if they were coming, so we stayed under the under the limit, and we had the chairs two meters apart. Uh, so we kind of had a bit of a hybrid. We did a live stream. We did have some technical issues with the sound early on, but we, we fixed them up on the fly. This weekend, uh, we're taking a different approach. We're going to pre-record the service and we're going to do it in uh, Pastor Lionel's lounge room. So uh, it'll give that give that that homely feeling. You know, every everybody who's watching it this weekend will be uh, watching uh, from probably their lounge room. Some people maybe will jump, uh, <laughs> will be, will be watching in bed, who knows. Uh, but I think most people will be watching from the lounge room. And uh, so we thought we'll, we'll go for that approach. I, I watched a number of, of live streams over the weekend, um, including Awaken. I haven't watched uh, City Life, but I just, just did a quick skim over it then. And, uh, and saw some amazing examples uh, and I'm just so excited and we got some great ideas. I love the idea of incorporating children's church. I think it's really important that we don't forget our kids. Uh, so we'll be recording, uh, pre-recording uh, the worship in one house in our worship league. We'll be uh, recording the message at our pastor's house and then we'll be uh, recording a children's church service as well and then putting all those together into a, into a video and releasing it, uh, releasing it um, through, through YouTube, uh, but in a way that we can have live interaction. Um, at the moment, um, we've got to test it, but we'll be, uh, it looks like we'll use church online uh, because it allows for some really cool interaction. It allows for, for prayer requests and it also allows for people to, to make a commitment to Jesus um, when the altar call happens. So that's what we're, we're looking at now. It's a pretty big shift from, from where we were last weekend. But um, I think that's, you know, we, we, we need to look at, uh, uh, yeah, um, cha changing things up a little bit uh, working outside the box and getting feedback from the congregation as well, I think is really important. But I love those examples uh, that have been shared. I think that's a, that's a real good, good cross section of, of what I've seen uh, happening, not just around the Illawarra, but around, around the nation. Uh, from a pulse perspective, we want to, we want to let you know that, that we're here to help. We're here to serve. Um, if, if, uh, if you want to reach out to us, we'd love to connect with you and uh, 
to, to help uh, your congregation uh, through this. We'd also love to put the word out that, that if leaders want to create a short devotion that we can share on, on our Facebook page, uh, if you want to share a, a devotion to encourage the broader community, uh, we'd love to, to, to do that. And if you have any ideas of how Pulse can help in this time as well, we'd love to, love to hear those ideas. And I'm just excited to do this together. I shared earlier, Hanky and I did our first Instagram live uh, this morning and it was exciting doing that together. Uh, and I think as a, as a, as a body of Christ, we can, we can come together in this time and we can shine bright. We can arise and shine and be a shining bright light in our community, loving our neighbors and, uh, you know, seeing like Matt shared that testimony of, um, of those salvations, people who would never step foot in our churches are going to, to um, be able to participate in these online services. And, and I believe we're going to see uh, salvations. So that's, very exciting. That's great, Pat. Um, so, so before I open to, um, you know, one or two people would like to share uh, what they've done um, or give input. So after this, we have a list. We collaborate with a few people. We have a list of the engagement options. So I put it into three boxes, and then basically, what is the list technology? Again, you do not need to. You do not need to. Uh, uh, you, if you want this, we can send all this slideshow to you. Um, so uh, you don't have to, um, you know, record it and all this thing. So, um, so I guess I just put it like a, there. Are, there are three things that I put. Uh, like one is the, like webinar style, which is there are two way of doing it. One is live. Um, I think City Live doing it live, is that correct? And then, um, uh, and pre-recorded. And two is an online meetings like Zoom, Skype, and everything else, like, like currently what we are doing. And then um, there's one guy who actually suggests to me there's an audio, audio only, it's like a pre-recorded using a podcast. Um, I, I, I will list all the technology as well. After this, I will show you the slide of technology. Um, but before that, I would like to open the floor for um, you know, one or two people who would like to share what they've done and maybe give an input. So we leave the question a bit later in the Q&A, but I would like to share uh, if anyone would like to share what the church is doing. Anyone? Yes, uh, I can share what we've been doing, um, which is pretty similar to you, Hanky, with the um, Zoom meeting. What, what are the things here at Living Water that I, I was concerned about because we've got a number of older people who uh, don't, aren't really familiar with the tech that we could have a way that they could just dial in on a landline phone. And um, so last night we had uh, like a, a short Lenten uh, reflection devotion session, which we used Zoom for. And we had, um, I think three people just dialed in on their phones to join that apart from all the others who came in uh, with their computers or or whatever so that was great that uh, some of the people who aren't technically skilled were able to uh, interact and then after we finished the um, devotion we had a, a good community chat afterwards and I think that's uh, something that I've been talking with our team about is concentrating on maintaining the community um, conversations not just oh we've got to put a, um, a worship program up online but we've got to also interact with each other as community uh, and that worked that worked really well actually I was pretty happy with that and on our website we've put links to a weekly prayer group life group um, reflection on Wednesday nights and um, Sunday's worship so that people can just click on those links and go straight to the zooms that's great Michael no, it's good, it's good to, to, to hear about that. Um, so pretty much the technology wise you're using uh, Zoom because Zoom allowing people to have a phone call as well. Is that correct? Yeah, so the people can have a phone call as well and you don't need to be technically savvy to, to do anything. And we can, at this stage, we've been doing everything live. So we haven't pre-recorded pre messages or prayers and our intention on Sunday is that whoever is the per people who are praying from their own homes, they can just um, 
when they pray, turn their mic on and off they go. Whoever's giving a message or a word, they can do that from wherever they are. So it's really um, interactive um, from screen to screen. Uh, we thought about doing um, the the, the pre-recorded video and streaming that on YouTube and the like, but um, our, our thoughts were that this was a more interactive way of doing it um, to keep people feeling like connected as community. So that, and we've got a small group which makes that easier. So some of the larger, I guess, church communities with their worship presentation, that would probably be difficult, but we've only got sort of 20 or 30 joining in. So that's great. It seems to work. Okay. So um, I, I think we'll, is anyone have um, any, um, the things that you guys are doing is different from what I already mentioned? Anyone? Yeah, Alex Dunstan um, here, Hanky. I just um, wanted to alert people that if you're using an iPhone to do some of this recording, and if you get it, the iPhone is set up very well to, to actually pick up your voice. But if you're going to do it to, to record worship, you need to go to the settings and turn off um, uh, the background noise. So that um, so that it picks up all the music as well. Now you're picking up my wife coming in the door. Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> <laughs> um, I guess the other thing is, of course, is is as we're finding here is that um, we're we're all at the mercy if you're using Zoom of the bandwidth that. Uh, that, that we've got it at any particular time. And I'm not sure, I'm sure whether Sunday morning is going to be a great time for bandwidth or not. And also, you've got to have um, Wi-Fi. Um, our, one of our problems is that we don't have Wi-Fi in our church. Um, so one of the workarounds for that is there's a, a particular app that I don't know if you guys know about it. It's called Speedify. And Speedify enables you to, to link a number of internet um, uh, sources together and, and it quickly, uh, it, it sort of tags them all together and makes your internet signal a bit stronger. So it might be worth having a look at that. That, that, that is actually awesome, Alex. So do you mind um, if, you, if you have my email, could you send it to me so that I can put it as part of the package that I send to everyone? Yeah, sure. sure. That, that's great. Um, okay, so um, is in, anyone would like um, you know share another one like a two or three minutes before we go on into the option and open for Q and A. Yeah, hey everyone, I'm Dave. Um, oh, hey Dave. So I'm coming in from Brisbane from City Point Church. Uh, Pat hey, asked me to, to have just you. jump on, um, so I thought I'd just share what we're doing. Um, it's probably you've, you've got to keep everything in mind of the size of your church. So we're obviously a larger church. Um, so we're doing a pre-recorded service where we're recording all the um, we're recording a worship set, uh, which then you know so we can have good audio. It goes through a mix and that sort of stuff, and then the pastor will speak. Um, we put it out through a live streaming platform called Church Online Pla uh, Church Online Platform dot com, um, which allows you to live stream then straight to YouTube. Um, and we have our pastors then online in the chat role then to um, to connect with everyone during the service. Um, and what that allows us then is if, if anyone has any questions or whatever, they can um, connect that way. Um, and then we are also, um, what else are we doing? Um, so instead of sending people straight to a YouTube channel, we send them to a website address, just as I think um, I think Nathaniel said the same thing. Um, so we actually just send them to our church website, which is citypointchurch.com forward slash online. And then people then have the option then of how they connect in um, through a different couple of different methods. I think on the weekend, um, from hearing back from some of the team, I think we had about 60 salvations uh, through our online service. Um, which was quite amazing, um, considering that we were doing a pre-recorded um, stream that was just going out. I think we've sent it out through 
um, three different times throughout the day, which is just our normal times of the services. So, um, so it's probably on the on the higher end of what people are doing. But if anyone is interested in what you can do as an idea, um, you can feel you know just jump on and um, see what we're doing. I think we've got a, um, a playback on our YouTube channel of the weekend service still. So. Oh, thank, th that's great, Dave. Th th thanks for um, you know uh, ch uh, check, ch tuning in and share your um, uh, share your idea. No, that's fantastic. You know, sixty people. That's amazing, isn't it? Yeah, that's really great. So, um, uh, yeah. So we 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 have a few of um, a few feedback about the church online platform as well. So I actually added into the list. So I'm gonna go through um, actually my list. Um, okay. So again, you don't have to, um, you don't have to, you don't have to um, take a screenshot or whatever. I can send it to you. So I just want to quickly go through this. Um, again, um, just want a disclaimer. I don't have any share of anything with, with all, all these associations. So I don't get any benefit out of this. I really just want to help. So a uh, Zoom meeting, that's what we are doing. So the type is online meeting. The equipment needed by the church as a simple as a laptop with a webcam on an iPad. If it's an iPhone, it's probably you need to have some holder, otherwise you're going to be tired for an hour to, to um, just a common sense. And equipment is needed by the congregation is the laptop, iPhone, um, smartphone, and phone, which Michael mentioned. Uh, the good thing about Zoom is uh, phone audio only can, can and do it. So estimated cost for the church uh, is a starting is $20.99. That is uh, Australian dollars for 100 participants. So I have the link. The setup complexity is easy, uh, is very easy. Um, now, Zoom have another level called webinar, uh, called Soup webinar. So um, the equipment by the church is the same, need by congregation is the same, um, uh, but it's actually higher. So webinar is allowing breakout rooms and all this thing is a lot more, um, a lot more complex, um, actually uh, like, like all, all the other thing. So it's $64. It does include the Zoom meeting. So the URL to do that is there as well. The complexity is probably a bit medium, so not as, as easy as a Zoom meeting. But I would say more easy, medium rather than rather medium. Now, uh, Skype. Um, I used to use a lot of Skype back then. Um, so it's a same, a similar like a Zoom. Um, so I believe this is actually need to be confirmed. So if someone can help me, like Ospil or whoever listening um, can help me, uh, I, I believe Skype is free. Um, and uh, but actually say free. So Zoom, someone actually say Zoom also allow live stream. Oh, thank you. That Zoom, so, so Zoom webinar allow live stream. Th thanks, Dave. So that that is actually the good thing about Zoom webinar. Okay. So Skype is free, um, but also when I check the pricing, it's free as part of Microsoft Office. So I'm not sure about that. It has to be confirmed and it's easy. Now, um, audio only, if you want to a podcast, uh, podcast style, so then people actually look at, uh, listening to their, their own time, there's, a, there's an Anchor FM. Um, so if, what you need is a smartphone, iPhone or Android, and people need to have a podcast app, can be in a Spotify, laptop, smartphone, whatever, and it is free. It is free. Uh, what you need is of your phone, and it's probably like a good mic. So if you listen to um, some of the people like Dave before, you know, you know his voice is uh, better than probably my voice because he probably got a uh, got a good mic. So yeah, like that's a good uh, you know, mic. So that's actually what the investment that you need. Now another one, uh, a free version. It's like similar like Zoom. It's called Jitsi. I do not know how to spell it, but Jitsi is exactly like uh, like uh, like Zoom. Uh, it's free, but the phone call is only US number. So it's going to be very expensive for someone to call. Zoom have Australian number. Jitsi doesn't have. It's an open source. It's actually quite easy. So I tried yesterday. It's a very easy. Uh, you do, the good thing about Jitsi, you do not need to have a sign up. So just, you just can log into the website, click, I want to start a meeting and start sending the URL to people. That's very easy. Uh, another one is Google Hangout, um, like what we are doing right now. You can share screen everything. What you need is a Gmail account. I believe the um, the limitation of a G Google is the congregation need to have a Gmail account as well. Not all people have a, a, a Gmail, but it is free. Okay. Next one, uh, uh, someone mentioned about a YouTube, so it's more webinar style. Now, equipment is by church, probably not exactly correct. Um, so it's depending if it's actually quite medium or hard. 
uh, if a medium, you actually can do a, a YouTube live with your laptop. So if you have a YouTube account, so you need a Gmail account and you can go live, right? And you can actually like this now live. So that is, I see it as medium, you need a laptop. But if you want to have a, like what, um, you know, the others uh, mentioned about uh, more complex, I would say that's more the hard category. So now uh, I also receive a message. YouTube live needs, um, needs uh, what, hundreds, hundreds of subs. Oh yeah, so uh, is that only, no, uh, I think if you live using your phone, you need a thousand subscription, subscribe. But if you are using your laptop, you are actually fine, you can do it. I believe that's what's the case, but correct me if I'm wrong. Now someone actually mentioned, I think that's Josh, that it takes two days to activate if you want to do a live streaming. So if you want to do it this um, Sunday, you need to do it as soon as possible. Uh, Facebook Live, um, so um, it's a webinar. Uh, again, so it's similar like our YouTube, so I just put it in the same category. Now, uh, this is just online platform. The way I say the just online platform is a fantastic, I tried yesterday, it's a very easy. So if you don't have a church website, um, this is a very easy way to um, collect all the information you need from a church, like a one good place. Um, it's a very simple to, to set up, it is free. Um, so you still need to have the YouTube, the Vimeo or whatever, you still need that. Um, but this is like a one place to where people can look at the information. So if you have your prayer meeting, you have all those things, you actually put it there. And I'm not mistaken, I think it was Dave or someone mentioned, you actually can chat um, you know, um, on, on the, on, on the, during using that platform. It's fantastic. So you don't have a website, or if you want a one place to look at it, set it up quickly, go there. Uh, I, I recommend that. Um, you know, there's about like four or five people telling me about this. Um, now, um, there's also a way you can do it. Um, uh, I think there's a B Live, uh, B Live and StreamYard. So that's how, how you do it. You're basically uh, doing your live, um, but you, you can stream it straight away to your Facebook and uh, I believe YouTube. So uh, StreamYard is free. I do not know about B Live. Uh, Streamlight is free, but they will put their logo. But if you want them to get rid of their logo, you have to pay. Um, the setup is pretty easy. So uh, if you have an interview with someone and all those things, you can do that. So that's the, I believe that's the end of, um, um, you know, the list of the equipment, so all those things. So yeah, so uh, feel free someone to add uh, because um, I didn't cover, uh, you know, um, everything. Uh, feel free to add. Now just open the floor. So we have about half an hour to uh, have a Q, Q and A. Okay, so I'll open the floor for if someone want to ask a question. Hey. Uh, yeah, um, sorry. Uh, yeah, Hanky, uh, thanks for that. Uh, just a quick question about, um, in terms of worship, um, what about licensing for streaming? Is is, is there a, an extra amount of money that you got to pay for that, or what? Are, would you? Would anyone have any idea about that? Adrian, Adrian, you have something on that on your note. You wanna you wanna share that? Yep, I'm just looking it up now. So. Singing copyrighted songs requires a specific streaming license from CCLI, and it's around $150 to $200, depending on congregation viewer size. Uh, Josh has written here, YouTube may also detect the songs played and give you a copyright infringement. But yeah, we do it all through CCLI. Uh, we can, I can forward details to you, Hanky, if you like. Yeah, we, we are, so if, with, with everyone, okay, Laton, I will, I will put that Google Doc and send it to, um, to people as well. So, Jeff, does it actually answer your question? Uh, yes, it does. Thanks for that. Okay, no worries. Uh, Daryl, you want to say something? Yeah, I had the same question. Um, plus, uh, I was watching a, a pastor the other day uh, streaming from home, and there was a, a, like, his voice and the video was out of sync. Now, was that the equipment or is it uh, a system that he was using or is, does that sort of thing happen? Why would that happen? I, I, I probably get Nathaniel or uh, other people who like to share who's more technical than me. You have to unmute, Mike. 
I'm just I'm just telling everyone that you are more technical than me, but you forgot to mute, unmute. I'll check it down. Looks like I'm more technical than you. Okay, I'm worried. Oh, okay, go you can you can see my mouth moving, but um, so jump in, Dave. But um, basically, it, it's a bandwidth issue, Daryl. So um, my I don't know the inner workings of Zoom, but I think Zoom probably prioritizes audio. So because it's because it's you know keeping the audio going. Sometimes the video and the audio become sort of unlocked for want of a better word and things happen. So um, that's, you know, live is great because it, it, you get that community and that interaction, but that's why I, I would recommend to people pre-recording if you want sort of a polished message, um, just because you can get, you get these issues. And, and we have a saying, you know, that that's, it's live TV. So live TV, there's no second takes. There's no second chances if it's if things go pear shaped, it's if they go pear shaped. So um, yeah, that that the video going out of sync is something to do with bandwidth, some kind of issue there. So yeah. yeah. So um, so Nat, while, while I got oh, sorry, Daryl, does that answer your question? Thank you. Um, so Nat, while I got you, um, you mentioned. Um, so for people who want to be more like a medium high end, you, you, you mentioned that there is a shortage of uh, equipment at the moment. Yeah, I just, uh, I didn't want to put a dampener on, on web streaming things, but um, I just thought I'd better mention that there is a, a major shortage of um, webcasting equipment, Australia wide and, and as, as far as I understand globally, just because every man and his dog is web streaming now. So. Um, I was talking to, to some of my uh, webcasting guys this week and basically any, any webcasting guys that have their equipment, you know, so Dave, if you've got any webcasting gear, hang on to it, mate, because um, <laughs> um, they're hiring it out. Rolls. What's that? It's going to be more expensive than toilet rolls? Yeah, I think so. I think it's the next, it's the next uh, currency maybe, but... Um, but yeah, it's it's supply and demand. But basically, like things like Cam Links, which is a little device that lets you plug your camera into your computer. Cam Links have sold out everywhere, and they're on back order. So I just thought, you know, I should mention that. Um, so you know, by all means, if, if anyone finds a supplier somewhere that's got it, let, let everyone know. But um, but yeah, it, it is hard to get uh, webcasting gear at the moment. Um, I found some stuff on Amazon. There you go. Amazon, here you go. I have Amazon Prime, so if anyone wants to do that, maybe we can um, we can put up the order together. So free shipping. Yeah. Um, so so um, just want to you know, Nat and the others. Um, you you are probably more um, you know uh, video sh sh savvy. Um, you know, we, we do not want uh, people just you know to be like a very really police. However, maybe a quick tips of how to recording. For, for me personally, um, I have to speak slower. Uh, because of the bandwidth, just like now. What did you say, Henke? I can't understand you. Yeah, I need to have a subtitle. Henke, you know, am I? Henke, can you speak English, please? Yeah, I need to have a subtitle. <laughs> Is there any software that automatically translates my English? <laughs> so, um, yeah, so perhaps you can share a, a few tips, you know, on that when someone recording themselves, um, you know, like I know some of them like do not wear stripe, you know, speak slower, something like that. Maybe give a little bit of a tip for the pastor here. It's breaking up. Is that breaking up? Did you did you want a general comment, Henke, or? Yeah, general uh, general comments. How the uh, if the pastors want to record themselves, you know, uh, what is your general comments as as a video recording? Yeah, um, Daryl. Daryl made a really good point in an email yesterday that it, context is everything. So I think um, I, when I work with pastors or, or anyone, I mean, we, I do a lot of things with um, government government ministers and ministers of a different kind, um, and you know, CEOs and, and things. But um, it's you're still projecting yourself and you're still communicating, but it's it's one on one. So. Um, it, you just got to have a different approach. So it's more like a conversation. Um, you still want to have that passion and that 
energy, but it's more intimate. And, um, you know, I guess a, a preacher or a minister projecting themselves out to a congregation, um, in this sort of instance, you're project, projecting yourself into a camera. So um, the, the downside is the camera doesn't respond or, you know, feed, give you that feedback. You the point, what was that, Daryl? Um, just taking that a little bit further, um, there is a lot of fear for pastors here with the just not the technology, like I can hardly keep up with you tech guys, but I think it's fantastic. But I saw a little comic in my screen this morning, and it's a pastor and his wife in bed, and he's having a nightmare. <laughs> and he's saying to himself, What if my people discover that out in this church? Don't need don't need it and actually enjoy not going. Wait. What if I discover that too? <laughs> so there's a whole fear of redundancy yeah. about um, what's my role now? Uh, do I still, will still people listen? And what I've discovered in listening, uh, just experimenting this from the listener's point of view, I've discovered to my delight that I've got a volume control. So what's happening? We're a lot of churches where I've struggled with the noise levels. I can control that, which is fantastic. <laughs> also, um, I don't use the mute switch, but I can change channels. <laughs> so as I was going from one church to another, just trying to sort of get a handle on what they were doing, I found I was I had a lot more control than what I had before in what was before me. And um, one of the benefits of that I listened to a bit of Bill Johnson this morning and he did the whole thing from he shortened it down to a very simple message it took 15 minutes and it just was a head and shoulders in a lounge chair and um, and then another one I listened to was a their first week experimenting and as you said Nathaniel there was a young fellow preaching but he was still shouting to the masses that weren't in the church yeah. and it's a uh, it's a huge step emotionally and it also you're looking at the camera you don't know for sure who's there mm. yeah you, you've sort of got to imagine who's there yeah all right that's great so um, I, think, I think he's still speaking but I think we've lost Daryl Hanky. Okay. Yeah. Um, Do you want to say Alex something, Johnson. Alex? Yeah, I just I, I think there's 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 great opportunity here. I think Nat, um, you're by, by far the most accomplished in being able to make people um, at ease in front of the camera. Although some of the cameras you use are pretty intimidating. Um, <laughs> they, they don't buy. No, oh, they feel like they do. <laughs> um, I, I just, I think that's that's right. That that some of our pastors they rely on a lot of feedback. Um, but you know, there's if we're going to walk by faith, yeah. then this is the opportunity. Yeah. You know, if we're if we're going, then now is the opportunity to speak by faith. And now, you know, we've actually heard. Um, from a lot of, from some people here that they're getting quite you know a number of salvations so we've got a whole new audience here to open up to yeah uh, and and so that's I mean, that's really exciting really exciting and people can log on without intimidation without having to to darken a church door <laughs> so we might find we get a lot more people listening yeah. and watching than uh, we could ever have imagined mm -hmm. yeah yeah. Thanks, Alex. Yeah. So um, one of them, um, I guess, if I um, thinking, you know, at the end of this meeting, uh, what, what will I, I feel like I will be happy if um, I will be happy if, um, you know, there are, there are pastors or ministers on this call, if they want to do something on Sunday, I do not know how to do it or the step. 
Um, and then after this, conf after this Q and A, they know what to do. They know what's the next step. That will be giving me a, a great joy. So I want to open for, for for those pastors. If you at the moment, if you are not sure um, after hearing all this information, what is your next step? You know, feel free to speak up. We got a um, you know room full of uh, expertise here. Um, so yeah, feel free to speak up. We want to hear from you. Uh, you know, how can we help you? Anyone? You point to me, Hanky. Am I on? Is that is that good? You got me. I can't hear a thing. But anyway, um, yeah. Look, one of the things we looked at is uh, with the Zoom application uh, or any other. Maybe this Streamyard thing will do. Is some way of of stream streaming multi-screen so you can have. We're looking at doing our production from house to house coming together, um, whether you can actually stream two people live through one of these uh, online mediums. Yeah, I believe you can do that through Zoom. Um, if, you, if you go on the webinar level of, the, um, of Zoom, you can do a a live stream which will go to your um, streaming platforms like like a um, like Facebook and I believe you can do conversations like this um, when through through that platform um, and I believe you can also do it through um, through Skype as well um, there, there are some streaming softwares that people are using if they, if you are going to do it live um, so there's um, there are, is some free streaming software out there. Um, one of them is called OBS, which allows you to do some live streaming um, where you can bring in multiple um, things. It's a little bit more technical though, so um, probably I'd look at testing, doing a test beforehand, sure. and um, test with Zoom first. Um, or Skype and just sort of play around with a few things. Um, I know a few churches who are doing the, the pre-recorded things um, are doing that so to, to bypass some of these technical issues um, where they can record their show, upload a video file then into, um, into YouTube or the, the platform um, so that people can then watch along live. Um, and then, um, then, so for example, like City Point, we recorded this weekend's serviced last Sunday um, and so we've got then a week then to, to work on that that TV show as such um, to, to polish it. Um, the, I, I believe uh, C3 Church have done five weekends in a row like in one day um, so they've got now a month worth of services um, you know if, if more restrictions come in and that sort of stuff where they could get together they could record their services and they've got a month month worth of services laid out so it just depends on the way you you approach um like for, for your your con congregation um certainly smaller churches i believe like live in a zoom sort of setting is probably more interactive and more um you know family based um whereas like larger church like ours it's a bit more difficult to do it that so we're doing that that pre-recorded um way and and also just another note is um, don't try and just replicate your regular Sunday service as a live. Um, you know, try and try and make it more suited to that home environment. But even even around teaching, you know, we've got an opportunity now to teach uh, people discipleship. How do you disciple your family? How do you disciple your neighbours? Um, instead of relying on on the the you know the the model of listening to somebody at the the front of the church, now it's it's empowering our people to go and um, be the church to the neighbours. So it's even changing the way that we teach and change our, our training for our, uh, our people in their homes to be a real impact in their own city then. That's great. Th thanks, Dave. Um, but Saron, does it answer your question? Yeah, sure. Um, the, one of the things we're looking at is some pre-recorded elements that we can then have somebody hosting. So the, the live element would be more uh, a host plus maybe somebody else discussing feedback and so on. But yeah, those things are good. And look, obviously, um, discipleship we're doing through our home networks, all that sort of stuff. So, uh, and I think it's exciting to see that increase of discipleship through this whole process. 
check out OBS. Uh, I think it's obsproject.com or something. Um, that's the program that um, is a free live streaming program. You can you can use that then to um, to put videos into that stream. Yeah. Um, plus your live as well. Um, yeah. But you do need a if if you are doing a like an external camera or something, you can use webcams. If you use an external webcam, there's there's some extra bits that you need. Yeah. Um, yeah to fine. utilize. That's great. Thanks. Thank you. Uh, Pastor Eugene, you want to say something before? Uh, I was just going to say that we've tried Zoom as a live uh, thing for our prayer meeting and also our home fellowship. Um, they worked out quite successfully. Obviously, um, people have to get used to, um, to the system, but it was a bit of a giggle anyway, so it was, uh, it was really good. Uh, and this Sunday we will be doing Zoom again. Uh, we're a smaller church, so we can do that. I understand the difficulties that that would cause a larger church. But um, yes, we'll be Zooming from now on until um, we find something better. Well, that's That's fantastic. Anyone else would like to have uh, any, any question while we have um, all the techies here? Uh, just one quick question, Henki, if I may. Uh, I know it's probably not a time for uh, this uh, seminar, but probably one thing I was keen on getting to know is that uh, I'm no audiophile, uh, but I was um, interested in getting um, a list of um, equipments with, for sound and worship uh, because we don't have a camera set up. Um, so we're using our phone, um, but we can do it for a sermon. But when we are doing a song, it it's, it's comes out pretty bad. So I was keen on some, uh, you know, some budget friendly uh, mics that could pick something like that and, and how that would be uh, incorporated with the, um, with your cell phone camera and stuff like that. That's a very good question. Is um, um, anyone can uh, able to answer that? Maybe Ospil, are you on the line? Um, I know you're a bit of uh, audio guy. Maybe you can answer that. It's a budget friendly. That's the key word, yeah? Yes, that is, especially since we are considering our size, that I think we got to think about that. Uh, Ospil, um, do you want to uh, jump in? Are you there? Yeah, hi, sorry. I'm doing a few things at once here. So the question was, um, you're on a budget to improve your audio, is that correct? Specifically for, uh, for the worship, for, for singing and the guitar. At least that's the minimum. Yeah, okay. And so and you wanted to improve your audio when you're pro, uh, worshiping through your iPhone, is that correct? That is correct, yes. Uh, through your iPhone, it's a bit difficult um, because what you need is a, a better microphone for from your phone. Um, the best thing is probably going out of the phone and plugging an extra um, laptop or something to to buy an external um, microphone. So unfortunately, there's no, there's not much improvement um, from um, um, out of an iPhone microphone or, or laptop microphone. If you want to pick up present worship, that is something that um, you need to get uh, get out of if you want to have more better um, present worship. Yeah, you can get. Uh, sorry, are you finished? Yeah, Bill? go ahead. Yeah, um, you can get a little. I don't know if you can see this. Um, this is a little road mic, uh, and if Hayworth guitars or the or the mu Piper's music up the road there are open, they do have these. It's a little road uh, video mic me. And you can plug that into, if it's a new iPhone with one of those funny uh, ports on it, I guess you've got an adapter for that anyway. But this one just plugs straight into the, the headphone jack and it's a quality uh, shotgun condenser mic. So um, that'll get, that'll get, it gets really good quality audio actually. And there's, there's a few other levels that you can go to with that. There's a few other other varieties, but I've found that this gets quite quite decent um, quite decent audio quality for for a phone, much better than what the the phone's microphone will pick up. Yeah, you can also get iPhone um, uh, 
audio inputs that can take microphone inputs as well. So your proper XLR sized microphone inputs. So if you do a Google search on um, uh, store DJ or something like that, um, they do have uh, lightning to XLR um, adapters, I guess. Um, and so therefore, like if you say have a, um, a small sound system or something like that, you can just run a, uh, like a headphone output or a, a line output of some sort uh, into the iPhone out of a sound desk. So you util utilizing maybe gear that you already have for your sound for your church, um, still plugging everything in, but you're doing like a headphone or a um, microphone output of the sound desk uh, in through an adapter into your phone. Um, so there are there are a few options out there. Um, if you look on a like an online music store, um, that might um, provide a solution there. I can just add a few cents. Few cents. Hi, I'm Jeremy. I'm Catherine's husband. Some of you know me. Um, on what Pat said about the Rode microphones, they are really good um, for just giving you something extra to add on to your iPhone. Uh, if you can't find them at Haywards, they are readily available and they're often used by uh, small video production companies just to give themselves a little mic to add on to their DSLR or iPhone. So you can go to Google and type in Rode Australia and you might be able to find one or two shops around Australia that still have some in stock or Amazon. Or alternatively, um, if someone's really stuck, I'm happy to help with procuring stuff because I've done a lot of procurement both for my business and for, uh, for other things. So if you are really stuck, I can help out with that. Thanks, Jeremy. So Jeff, so, is that your question? Um, oh yeah, Oscar. Oh please. yes, I'm oh, sorry. That if you're in a, you know, in a tight budget, I recommend uh, using uh, laptops and then just, that most of the laptops got audio in and you could use those audio ins as uh, an external microphone. So you could buy, um, uh, a microphone like a road and you just plug it in and it's easy instead of an uh, an iPhone you got to buy dongles and this and that if you just buy a, if you just use your laptop laptop could usually have the audio in and get an external mic and just plug it in and, and away you go that's a better um, solution for if you're in a tight budget um, that's what I would do thanks everyone Thank you. So I'm just cognos with time. Uh, we have um, seven minutes. So, um, so obviously we cannot um, cover everything today. Um, but um, so what we would like to hear today, there are a few people who actually still ask questions and all those things. Um, we, so first of all, we will send all the information, uh, the, the spreadsheet, sorry, not the Google slide and also the Word document. And then uh, if you other actually can send me the information, that would be great. Now, um, we, we are considering to, uh, so, okay, if you need help, if you need help, uh, specific help, kind of say, look, can, can you please, can you basically kind of, can, can please someone talk to me? I need help. Um, there are a few volunteers and there are a few people who are willing to help. Um, so just quickly, uh, Nat, do you want to show, uh, do you want to tell everyone your idea about doing, uh, you know, doing things like a, like a, like a sharing thing, a sh sh time sharing kind of like that? Do, do you want to share that? So I just got to unmute myself. Um, yeah, so I was sort of briefly discussed with Henke yesterday. I'm happy to help. I've got a, a sort of mini studio here. Uh, our office is in Burelli Street in, in Wollongong. So look, if um, we often film pieces to camera here, um, if there was pastors or church leaders out there that wanted to do a pre-recorded thing, certainly give me a call. We can talk more. and. Um, you know, I'm sort of thinking, coming up with a way that we can do it um, cost effectively and efficiently. And um, that's, that's an option. So I have, haven't really discussed it any more than that. But um, Henke, if you're just happy to talk to anyone, yeah. help out. And um, yeah, but we can, we can do that. Or, or you know, we, we can film in, in churches, but I guess um, there's a bit of setup time. There, there will be... So basically in times like this, we want to help everyone, but we also want to kind of like, you know, reduce the cost. So by, by removing the setup and, um, you know, unpacking up and unpacking costs, it will be uh, cheaper. So then Nat, I guess, provide that kind of time sharing thing. Um, yeah. so there's an online form. Um, and then Ladonna will ask, I'll probably ask uh, Pat to share it, 
to people so then they can fill in uh, fill in now um what also other things that we we we, uh, we because together for the Ilawara and also past ninety four point one like Pat said before we want to help churches and minister to enable them so then they can um, you know uh, they can serve the community and also um, you know doing their, what what God's intended to do to pastor the church um, so in that form if you fill it in you know you can write down like if you think about any other topics like someone mentioned about you know the the licensing before maybe there is like a, a, perhaps you want to have a conversation about um, how you know health and safety is going to work um, how about um, there's a few conversation about how do you doing your uh, you know uh, like a care to uh, care ministry you know uh, community service how you're going to do that how it's going to look like we, we can host similar like that together with the Ilawara different audience obviously so um, you know we want to hear from you because we, we want to continue have a conversation we can help one another so then um, you know that's what what we want we, we want like together we, we want to do this for the Ilawara we heard about you know 20 people uh, that, uh, one person and 60 people um, safe you know we want to we, we want to hear more of that so please yeah, yeah. fill in the form uh, if you can it's only take about um, five minutes and uh, for me because I'm a quick typer it take me only about uh, two minutes so but um, you know uh, we would like to hear from you and also give us a feedback on how we can improve um, so so I guess we just want to finish it there is that uh, three minutes uh, about 12 30 is everyone okay unless there's someone have a um, you know a, a, a question all good okay uh, Pastor Ron could you mind to close in prayer absolutely let's do it thank you Hanky. fantastic mate well done Father, we thank you for your presence with us today. We thank you that you're guiding all our churches in all kinds of ways to connect with people. We thank you for those who are connecting with you through this process. And we just give you praise, Father, that you're going to lead us and guide us and that you are totally in control. And we give you glory and honour in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. So thank you, everyone. So I'm going to press... Um, uh, so this is recorded. So we will, um, I, I will process it and I will send it to someone to, um, you know, to, to edit it and then later on, you know, um, so stay tuned on Pulse uh, website and the Facebook. So it will be, the link will be there and then we can send out as an email as well. Thank you everyone for joining and thank you everyone who provided your, your time uh, to help others. God bless you guys. <laughs>